Okay, now we've prepared our 9 inch metal plenum. The next thing we're going to do is measure our first outlet. We want it to be at least a foot from the end cap. So we make a notation of that. And then at that spot, we're going to take our X-Acto knife, make an X pattern in there, and fold it back to bare metal. Just make an X, fold that back. Now this is, while he's doing that, this is the starting, this is the metal takeoff. This is the two and a half inch metal takeoff right here. What we're going to do to seal this up tightly is take this backing off of this gasket, the smaller of the two gaskets. So we'll do this. take this gasket off and then we align the holes that are in there with the holes that we have for the sheet metal screws. Okay, now what we're going to do next is pull that insulation back and we're going to drill a two inch hole in that spot that we just created. Excuse me, a two and a half inch hole. This is a two and a half inch outlet. So this is a two and a half inch hole that we're going to drill in. Then our next step is to pull back the insulation again and take four self-tapping screws. In this case, we're going to use 5 16 screws that are 3 quarter inch long. And there's four of them, so we'll change drill bits real quick. And add these four. Self-tapping screws going very quickly. Okay, very good. Now, since we have greater than our 4.2 insulation, what we do next is we fold that insulation back and we take this gasket here, which is called a thermal overload gasket. It has two backings with it. We're going to peel the one backing off right now. And this will preserve the air, which is a big part of our R factor in the tubing. So we'll take this gear in here and just put that on top of the insulation. Leave, it, leave the insulation underneath it there. Okay. Just push that down. Okay. Now after you've done that, peel the backing off of the other side. Peel that paper backing off of it. So we're not going to attach the two and a half inch tubing down here on the main floor. We're going to do that up in the attic in a moment. It's very important that you do this next step. We're putting on the tape ring the tape ring fits on top of the thermal overlay gasket. Later, when we attach our two and a half inch duct, we will slide back the insulation on the two and a half inch attenuating tubing, slide a clamp on it. In this case, it's going to be aluminum core tubing, so it'll be a black clamp. If it's sound attenuating tubing, we use an aluminum clamp. We have a little ring right here that we want our clamp to be below. And then after we've done that, we push all the insulation into this tape ring and we securely tape it with the UL181A tape. So that's all there is to making a takeoff. We've prepared everything. In another episode, we're going to show you how this goes together with the actual tubing in the attic.